another is the is sort of the long term uh, again research question. I, again, it's a long term investment, but I think that ultimately, uh, with a few studies, we can significantly um, change the way in which larger society, uh, legal institutions, uh, medical institutions actually interact and intersect with the king community. And again, most of the time, these are, these are moments like with legal or medical stuff that it doesn't necessarily affect us on a daily or sometimes even a yearly basis or for most of us. But when one of us is in that position, it's really hard to be there if there's not a lot of um, knowledge and training and research to support, hey, what I was doing was perfectly fine. That, you know, yes, there was an accident in my scene, but it's not because I'm some depraved, you know, completely out of control maniac, right? right? Or, yes, that, that injury happened, but given what I was doing, the standards in the community say that I did everything I could. Well, how's a, you know, how's a legal, uh, you know, the judge or, or somebody else going to know that unless we can document, you know, this is what's happening in the community and these are the standards of safety. So those are some examples of, of how supporting research and supporting the training of mental health providers um, can actually directly feed back and support our community, you know, just at those moments when we really need that. Uh, I like that. So you've probably got a lot to get ready for your conference, I imagine. Are you? Uh, <laughs> it's uh, just a couple of weeks away. It is. Yeah. It is. Is there anything uh, we didn't we didn't touch on you'd like to add in? Um, I would say that um, the. The conference is sort of our big, our big push, and I hope that, you know, the more that we get volunteers and the more that we get um, students and researchers involved, that uh, we'll be able to do more. There's just so much need, uh, and having just a, a, con a conference once a year, um, doing community presentations and presentations at academic conferences, which is what we do the rest of the year. I mean, that's all good. But if we had more people and more support, uh, we could do more because there's so much to do. There really is. Um, and managing all of that is uh, kind of a challenge when um, you, you just, you don't have the people and and people don't know about you, <laughs> and um, and and there's no uh, there's very little money to support it. So I think that given everything, in terms of our newness as an organization, the size of the need and the problem, um, we've we've done pretty well, and I'm pretty proud of that. And I really have high hopes for the future, but definitely. This is an, this is something that could grow, and I think that you know I'm biased. I think it should grow. I think that in the end, um, it will serve us really well. Now, where can people go to find out more information about the conference, about how to participate, how to contribute, either you know financially to help fund a, a research project or with time or, or, or effort. Well, our main, our main face is our website, which is karisresearch.org. Um, and we also have presence on Facebook, FetLife, and Twitter. Um, we attempt to con you know, make a uh, connection through that social media. So you can definitely find our um, Facebook page um, and the FetLife group. So those are main ways in which, in, in order to connect, uh, and then of course people can just contact me directly, and uh, Richard Sprout at Karisresearch org um, is the best way to to get me directly. 
So that those are the best ways. KarisResearch.org. There you go. Excellent. Richard, thank you so much for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. And best of luck with the conference. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Okay.